in the last episode. Why go to all that trouble for this? You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Is that Falcone? Carmine Falcone? Yeah. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. <laughs> the owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Oh, we'll see about that. And so it continues. This is Batman, the Telltale game. And that's Bruce Wayne, the Batman. Looks like, are we in a car? Or an elevator? Perhaps? Yeah, an elevator. Down to the Batcave. It's me. Hello. It's me. Batman. Nice. Episode 1. Realms of Shadows. Nice. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in. Two tickets for one art theater, huh? Last year. Remember to keep oh, it's when his parents died. Not all of it. Not all of oh. it. Oh. See what she was really after. Wow. Oh, we actually stole it. Huh? In the break in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Right, so we can play now. We can move around. Gotham feed access. Main screen, alright, we can look at this. Data port. All right, let's let's look at this. Nearly fell off a building for this. All right. Oh, what'd you do though? Oh, our gadgets. Look at our gadgets. Analyze the data drive. All right. Wasn't a calculator. Damn it. Spare grapple. Can't believe I let her take that. Yeah, how did that happen, dude? Don't you have like? Electricity. Well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. Hey. Yeah, uh, yeah, right. Deliver a jolt or knock out electricity in the area. I suppose that cat woman would have preferred the latter. Right. Oh. The newest addition. You can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. Oh. Nice. Let's see if I can refine the edge. Could be sharper. Wow, sharper. Why though? We don't kill, do we? Can't look at the car or anything. No. All right. All right. Data port. I would like that chair. That would save so much room in my uh in my room. Space in my room. So important. in a basement would be packed though because of the hydraulics and everything yeah, encrypted Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms two What's kitchens a library a gymnasium a basketball court and a movie theater I know and yet I always find you here in a dark damp cave hey what do you call it the computer room? yeah well this is the only room that really matters kind of well, then you won't mind if I skip cleaning the rest the dusting is murder. <laughs> Did you find out what that uh, I wouldn't mind. Cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. Would I hire somebody else though? At? Let me try a different angle. Hey yo. Can we actually control this? Alright. What are we looking at here though? This is a map of the east side shoreline. All right. But it could mean any number of things. 
money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Mayor Hill? Mm. No. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I mean... I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the My fist game. fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Right? Well, he yeah. certainly showed interest in you. We're not gonna be his That's dog. That's what worries me. For the record, <laughs> your father despised men like Falcone. I thought, thought they so. they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. No, people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. Selena, no, nah, she'll check the codex in the city. She feels at home here. Codex update. All right, you can check her out now. Found her. Oh no, no. Oh. Crimes, mayor office. All right, so we can check out their crimes and everything. Thief for hire. Beyond that, I don't know much about her. But even though she's working, or not even who she's working for, I wish I did because she's good at what she does. She caught me off guard during the break-in at the mayor's office. That was a mistake. I won't let it happen again. But I don't think she's a threat to be put down yet. I need to find out more about her. Alright, so we can check out everyone here. Harvey, Thomas and Martha, Mom and Dad, Alfred Pennyworth, Harvey Dent, yeah, Mayor Hill. Alright, awesome. Not much to find, apparently. Burglaries, break-ins, seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. Hey, come on step now. outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Well, well whenever Harvey calls, the guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I have a job to do, okay? A responsibility to this city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. Well, the car wow. Helps. Yeah. <laughs> drive that thing like a bat out of hell. <sighs> I am, though. Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Thanks, Al. I Six. thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Is that awesome? Cobble we in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that yeah, Oswald. more literally than you. I think that's Cobblepot. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a it criminal might be grand up. slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. The penguin. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Well... Oh, he's returning now, I... Someone breaks. Haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. Right. What can change over the years? Sure. If I remember but... correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. 
I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Come Master on, Cobblepot used to be yeah, close, Cobblepot. It's the penguin. I advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Oh, he owns the zoo, doesn't he? I think he does. Or, or at least his family. Or is it just a park here? Yeah, probably a park. Let's see, though. Oh, dude, your neck. Where are you, Oz? Let's, uh, check, check out this newspaper, I guess. Yeah, that's good. Well, I mean, can't be good when we're out here, though. Can it? No, we can walk around. Ah, I stepped into the... We didn't get to check it out. Damn it. Hold this person. Examine. We can examine him, huh? I mean, this guy's clearly in need. The thing is, though, we can't... Thank you, sir. Alright, let's uh, check out this burning barrel. There's a bed here. Why aren't you sleeping in that homeless dude? Is there a chicken? Running late. We can buy this thing. The statue, but no Oz. Let's just step into it. See what happens. This guy, smoking man. Shopping cart. And then the graffiti. All right, let's talk to this guy. Why not? Hello, stranger. Hey. Beat it. Hey, don't be like that. Man, I just wanted to talk to you. You're acting all mean and... Alright, whatever. Whatever, dude. We'll have fun with this shopping cart. Who took these, by the way? God damn it. Shopping. Look at this cool graffiti, man. Maybe we can learn a trick or two. This tart. This park. Cobblepot Park established 27th of September. It used to be. Didn't get to read it at all. Alright, I'm guessing this is gonna trigger something. Let's check it out. Is that your dad, Oz? Watch wallet cash. Like this? goes through you. We'll see about that. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? Just walk away, guys. You're making a mistake. You already made one. Come in here. The next one kills you. We'll End see him. about that. We'll see about that. Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. in the moment! Oh, damn. Come here! Think that'll do! Oh, no, we didn't get it. Stay down! Damn, that was harsh. Knock it out. Nice. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Ow. He messed up his face even more. How is that even possible? This is my park. Mine. You hear that? Yeah, but I'm guessing they don't understand what you mean. Oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Yeah, you too, mate. 
That's hey, disgusting. Good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? It went too you far. Didn't need dude. to take it so far. Some folks are fine hearing, Bruce. Others don't get the message unless it's beaten into them. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, no, that wasn't why I brought you in, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. Right. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mum and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were. Yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. I'm sorry, dude. Uh, it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the Don't same circles me, we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations. Things are never the same. So this now isn't gonna I help. Is this park? Remember I'm, that, guys. I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Thanks, Bruce. Things are never the but same. We are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. Don't compare yourself to them. You still care to about anyone, more I than mean. just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Yeah, me too. Made himself right at home. That oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Thanks. Falcone Good. made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. Right. All he needs is a little push. And yeah, that's a nice flask of pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than our plan. Yeah, that was dark, dude. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. Nothing's wrong with your jacket, bro. To let it in. Oh, there it goes. Which brings me to you, Bruce. Me? You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. And I can't wait to get started. I'm not your I'm enemy. Not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen. Don't Come on. We can do this the right I've way, got though. Great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Not a threat. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Yeah, later, buddy. Oh. Oh, right. The press conference. Future home of Thomas and Martha Wayne Memorial Hospital. Thomas and Martha Wayne. Oh wow! What kind of car is this? Is, it, is that a Ford? Ford GT? Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Not sure to be honest. Bruce, Bruce. Yeah, let's be Good morning, nice. everyone. 
Must be nice. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> yeah, you're funny. We didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has Got been a, a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Alfred? Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, oh. <laughs> with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Right. My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. Good intro. <sighs> You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie oh. about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. That turned dark. We're touching emotions here. With this facility, yeah, and our next mayor, we change Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I like it when reporters I'm, uh, clap. Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vail. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? Uh, I mean... I say we leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better yeah this time we won't fail those who need us most all right who's up next oh, Wayne, uh, you there mr. Wayne Julia remark of the Tribune my sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home yeah no those are fall falsers I don't make friends with gangsters he was an unwelcome guest that's all next question please Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? <laughs> Gotta check this. Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Oh, really? Care to comment? <laughs> and did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Ooh. Bruce? How long has your family Interesting, he's setting us up. Could the allegations this be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? Ah, oh, your sources are wrong. I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? How long has your family Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage control's my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. What's up, Bruce, Alfred? I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. I'm on my way, Alfred. Hey, hey, 
careful. Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. There's gotta be a mistake. That's what we're here to find out. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe you did. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. Why are there paper on my carpet? I meant what I said about not personal. <clears throat> we only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Who we'll authorized this? Authorized this. Sorry. I know you and the DA are buddy buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. Oh really? Falcone. Yeah. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't Thank know how you. your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Well, that... I can't promise. I mean... Hey! Why are you breaking stuff? Be careful, dude. Have you never been to a manor before? Behave. I'm gonna find that cop's name and make his family suffer. I'm joking. Bruce, stay back! Take whatever you want! I would have said something, though. You don't have to do this. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... This is the second time you've shown up uninvited. Well, it's difficult to book a meeting with you. Well, I enjoy my privacy. Enjoyed. Past tense. Oh, you're funny. Sorry, but if the press has their way, you're not gonna have any for a while. Right. Listen. Bruce, a scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? What's your angle? Not well, all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old fashioned. I that's still want nice. The, truth. the Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay flimsy sources there isn't a shred of hard proof still allegations like this they, they they don't magically appear someone is going after my family after me obviously the sender didn't identify themselves we have no idea who it could be i mean no one's even done their due diligence on this yet the press saw the fumble they grabbed the ball and ran yeah Falcone. carmine falcone wants me to be in his pocket he yeah. crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. Well, that's it not won't. gonna happen. No, it won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters. Not wild I mean, this could be misinterpreted too, but sure. Whatever. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. This story about my family is exactly that—a story. 
It's a work of fiction all the way through. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Good. Thank you. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. She's in love and she wants the money. I hate to admit it, but Maybe the guy. everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman oh. has made plenty of enemies, but my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents. It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the oh, district Tony. attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Oh. Oh. I mean, they were at the same place, though. This could have happened super fast. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. Good. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? Because of Falcone. I mean, what could he possibly yeah. hope to accomplish? God other damn than it! Cheap headlines. Do you think Falcone could be behind it? He didn't seem too thrilled after the fundraiser. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. Just... It would jeopardize the entire campaign. Alright, we'll stick together in this one. Back. He hasn't Hill done anything wrong with get me. Away with this. And yeah. not be a war we can win. The city will be behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. Hey, you. Oh, what? Sorry. What? I got a habit of being late. No, no, just... Why she got a blue me? eye? Oh. Oh, it's Selena. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. Yeah, it is. I hope I'm not Cat woman. anything. Just election nonsense. Yeah, she knows so. I think we've met before. You do look familiar. Well, everyone knows who Bruce Wayne is. Do they? Pleasure to meet you, Miss Kyle. Selena Kyle. A.K.A. Catwoman. It's a strong grip you've got there. Oh. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, oh really? She I'm knows. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses right around there. town. Where'd you get that shiner? Bruce? <laughs> <laughs> Money doesn't buy manners, right? <coughs> God damn. I almost died there. I was mugged. Oh, really? I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. Oh. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Did See you at least get a look at the guy? Good enough to make an ID. Oh, shit. I'll get Gordon down to GCPD to work on a lineup. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. Yeah, what is it you do though? So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Sure. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. 
Oof. Huh? We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. <laughs> Someone in my the office look. has to know what's going on. Damn. Yeah. Uh, Get on it, bro. Excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. Can we talk real now? Like, fucking jump straight to the... Oh, damn. Nice to meet the real you. In case you're getting any ideas, no one would believe you. <laughs> right. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. <laughs> Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. Yeah, right. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. Shit. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. It must be important. What's on the drive? I don't know. You don't know what you've stolen. It's not my business to know. My clients don't know who I am, and I don't know who they are, or what they're moving. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, it looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed, and I'm not going to lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. Well, we can help you. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. It's not gonna happen. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Shit. Better hurry. Everything okay here? Sure. You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. So uh, soon? Aren't you going to stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Wow. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> 